Well, here we are at the Crown Promenade Hotel in Melbourne. This is one of the two hotels attached to the Crown Casino, but in fact it's the only one of the two I've ever stayed in. Uh, on the whole, it's a pretty nice and flash hotel, but naturally being me, I've found a few things to whinge about. So here we go. The first thing to point out is we have that old bet noir the power system that you have to have a card in, but obviously enough people have complained about this because in fact that card is permanently in the room. It was there when I arrived and the cleaner hasn't nicked off with it, so they must have worked out that people found it too annoying. You also notice this handy little touch here. The, rather than having a sign you hang on the door to say, do not disturb or please make up my room, we have a little electric switch which switches on a light outside the door. So that's quite neat, although you do have to remember to do it. I've stayed here once before and if you didn't switch it on, they just didn't bother cleaning up for you. Now over here we have a fairly conventional wardrobe setup. Uh, notable here, this is one of the few hotel safes I've ever seen that is big enough to actually put a notebook computer in, although you do have to mess around a little bit. Moving on to the adjacent wardrobe, again pretty standard. We have some actual real coat hangers, although on this occasion I bought my own. Ironing board, iron and a few spare pillows. Now, moving to the bathroom, I've always liked the crown shower, the crown promenade shower, which has this, you know, single floor set up, great big glass door. It's a bit unintuitive that the door goes in, but it's not too bad. Very nice, powerful shower. Um, Decent basin, proper sink plug, decent toilet, mirror, we won't think about that. One thing that is a bit rubbish though, this tissue box is absolute crap and you can basically pull out tissues a handful at a time. So it's redesigned to be used there. Ah, moving on, we have an actual proper kettle and you know, tea and coffee supplies and the usual hideously over, overpriced mini bar. Into the room itself, all subtle and understated, two nice big beds here, the bars over there, is it? Something that's a bit rubbish is the clock, which is this old fashioned analog thing, so it ticks to keep you awake in the middle of the night, doesn't glow particularly well. Nice use of proper master light switches, so when you're in bed you can just switch on the reading light, switch it off and then everything's off, no messing around grabbing lamps. Um, Decent sized but rather old fashioned television. Now, we have in room internet, and there's a few things to complain. The first is it's a rip off, it's $25 a day. The second is that this attached cord is nowhere near long enough because you're forced to have the notebook up at this end of the desk. The third thing, and most critical thing, is the bloody thing hasn't worked. I've been here 24 hours and the service hasn't worked once yet. They tell me they're working on it, I'm about to find out if they've been working on it hard enough. Uh, well, nice little touch here, the chaise lounge, so you can admire the view. Of course, the view, while you've got the water in the distance, is mostly of all the freeways around this part of town. But really, we're staying here at Crown because it's convenient to get to other things, not because it's a scenic location in its own right. So, if they can get the internet fixed up, we'll be very happy. On the whole, pretty nice hotel room, but a few design things that could get worked on for the future.